infatuation at first sight, for sure. I don't believe in love. I don't date a lot, but when I do, I try Tinder. Grease? Like the movie, not the thing that's on your food. Or the breakfast Or my club. nationality. <laughs> or uh, that. Grease or breakfast, or breakfast club, not breakfast food. <laughs> grease on breakfast food or watching the movie Breakfast Club while eating greasy food. Grease or the breakfast club. <laughs> Off to a good start. <laughs> Would you rather date a cat person or a dog person? I mean, with the, oh god, <laughs> making dinner or ordering takeout. I love cooking. I am frighteningly domestic. Would you rather date a method actor or a Meisner freak? Meisner freak, for sure. Guess I'm out of For the picture. Sure. <laughs> yes! Yeah! Wait, no, what if I just like a <clears throat> yawn? <laughs> hmm. Oh, wait, wait is my favorite. Sound? Um, oh. Is there sound? Yeah, there is. Okay. okay. This is my favorite pickup line. Learned this in high school, guys, so you know it's good. Hey, babe, if you were a pirate, would you want your parrot to be on this shoulder? Or this shoulder. Whoa. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? I'd be searching for that booty. <laughs> we ever shared a bunk bed. How long would it take for you to surrender and give me the top bunk? I would never surrender. I like being on top. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. When do you try to take it from her? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for a fresh start. A new look. A new name. And a new face for our channel. We're shattering the ordinary. Introducing... Kinda TV. Kinda TV. All screens, no boundaries. Hey everyone, it's Natasha Nick of Endless and welcome to Kinda Fridays. I have enlisted my good friend and beautiful co-star Elise Bauman to teach me a little bit about yoga and the things that she does on set to de-stress. I'm so scared. <laughs> for, for yoga? I'm really afraid. I don't think I have the patience for yoga. So we'll stand in Tadasana first. So you want like an inner rotation of your thighs. Rotation? How do you rotate your thighs? With your arms above your head. And you can bring your hands together at the top. <laughs> yeah. And then exhale your hands to your heart center. So you're gonna come to your, your back body. Can I come closer? Sure, absolutely. Come on in. Sort of like a starfish. Um, Okay. Yeah. I feel like the only starfish I know how to be is Patrick from Spongebob. <laughs> it was exactly like that. <laughs> okay. Did the name Carmilla come up in the office? Like, I go, la 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 la. Yeah. yeah. And as long as it comes from your own will, from your own inner need, accept it and do not hate anything. That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. What's your favorite yoga pose? My favorite pose is crow. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Backwards. Pose. That was very impressive. <laughs> the pretend to be a yoga teacher. <laughs> Thanks for putting out the me as a student. Hey, kind of TV viewers. I'm Natasha Nagavendis, and this is Nat's Kind of Life in New York City. beautiful Carmilla series co-star Elise that most of you know told me about this really cool consignment shop called Beacon's Closet. I, I'd just like to send you a message, Natasha. Okay. okay. First of all, 
No, you're pretty. <laughs> Some of you may know I am a huge trivia nerd, so I decided to write a couple of questions for my lovely co-star Elise Bauman. Since you balderdash when you were a kid. Amuse me. No, but I heard that I'd like it. Oh, we have to have a game tonight. We'll play balderdash. Okay. It's Last question: Who is more excited than the cream puffs that you are in New York City with me? You buy Kojex. Did I get it right? It was me. You said other than you! No, I said other than the cream puffs! <laughs> Everyone's like, watch the almost adult show. Alright, fine. So Alright, we're it. gonna watch it. But Rosie, get up a new tab. Oh, it's these! Who? It's the Gay Women channel. Cool. This looks a bit like Promised Land. They're not the people from the channel, though. No, I will not go shopping with you. Love it. Yeah. Is so your color? Fine, let's go. How's Cassie? And how'd you take it when you told her? Told her what? Isn't this your friend Mackenzie? Is she single? That you decided to join the LPGA. Oh, wow. The twist. And you could have said you were You were dating him. The only reason I dated him was because his dick was so small that it was pretty much just a vagina. Hey, Matt. Oh. Get Sexy. Get Sexy. Oh, it's like she never has time for me or us anymore. It's all enough now. I like it. Hold on. She even got her period. They cameo. I'm assuming they cameo. Guys. Do you want to watch the rest of the Wait, trailer? It looks better than my short film. You haven't even made it yet. Exactly. It's better than the vision that is my listen, short listen, film. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, press play. Almost, almost press play. Press play. Well, such a lesbian. I'm 60 years old. Still single. Will you still love me? Probably not. We had honest jokes. Where was the end? We had fun. Still a little bit at the end. It says almost the whole. Mackenzie, are you watching lesbian porn? Because I told you, Bridget Jones' dying is not the same movie. Damn it, it's really good. Inside Out Toronto's LGBT Film Festival kicks off tonight. It stars Canadian Screen Award winners Elise Bowman and Natasha Nagel-Vanlis, who you may recognize from their hit web series, Carmilla. Natasha, do you think opposites attract? I think they do. I think they can. Okay. Are you dating anyone right now? Define dating. Define huh. dating. Huh. In your life, have you dated people more like you or more opposite than you? Maybe a little bit of both. You know, I get bored easily, so... Gabby. I think a lot of my long-term relationships have been people who are quite similar to me, but they've been quite tumultuous. Gabby. Okay, what do I think your biggest secret yes. is? I feel like maybe you had a lot, like, fell in love with someone you should never have fallen in love with, like a teacher or a colleague or some, of the, some kind of forbidden mm -hmm. thing, and that, like, changed you forever. <laughs> and that's my biggest secret. That's your biggest secret. And you never told anyone, or only told a handful of people. I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I'm fine. Yeah? That was just frighteningly accurate. You get a point. That's not what I wrote down. Um, someone inappropriate to have feelings for, for sure. You don't yeah. have to elaborate. It's all good. That's all I'm going to say. We all had pretty late nights last night. Elise and I ran lines until about 11. Working so hard. Working. We need more coffee. Wow. Okay, so fun fact about this space. Did you know it was a movie theater? I did not know that until you told me that. It has like special signals that we'll send mm -hmm. where like we're rehearsing and like one of us is like, I just have to like step out and like prep for my character for a second. 
Yeah, but we know really that we're both actually just, just like farting, farting away. Out. It's beautiful now that I'm in a prom dress. Do I ever? I love you. You've seen that part of the set, but you have not seen the secret next part of the set. I'm really excited for being built. Just have to watch the season. Thank you so much for helping me out with the set tour. Thanks for having me. Of and course. I'm sorry I distracted you and mm. nothing was accomplished. That's, I guess you saw things. That's not true. There was a set. You always distract me. <laughs> I'm gonna go rehearse now. It's complicated. I have Laura goggles on. No, no, it's not. It's complicated. Let's do it. Happy, everybody ready, and action! Hard. And kick, break, kick the balls. Bang! Nice! Here, struggle, get close, push off, wall. Nice! Fire run, hard! Good, go! Nice! I read that everybody cried after production wrapped. Spencer and, and Steph came up to us at the end of the last shot of the season. And, um, and Natasha and I were there. They were like, do you think that we got it? Yeah, they, I, yo, I forgot about yeah. that. Like, do you think we're done? And, and Elise and I just kind of looked at each other and just mm. went, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think Elise and I just held on to each other for like an hour straight. Oh my god, I didn't let go. Let's go down the line. What weird skills do we have at this table? Uh, I make a mean chili. <laughs> Secret ingredient is my resentment. <laughs> I got nothing. Uh, <laughs> um, I. <laughs> yoga. Cartwheel. <laughs> on Snapchat. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I do a good cartwheel. <laughs> you work you're doing hosting for kind of t kind of TV. Can you talk a little bit about what you've been doing yeah. for the channel? Um, I can say that uh, before Carmilla, I thought that Tumblr was just for porn and YouTube was just for uh, cat videos. I I didn't know there was this incredible community. Laura slash Elise, describe your character for season three in five words. Um, uh, 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 <laughs> grappling, um, uh, uh, passionate, um, scared, um, new, <laughs> and... <laughs> I gave you the hardest one, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Forthcoming. Nice, nice, nice. Growing. Expanding. Natasha, what's your favorite book? Really? <laughs> it it feels honor. great. This is my first tip. So, what? yeah, actually. This is my very first tip. This is my first tip where I've attended events and parties. I always make sure that I see films and tips. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Really to clarify. So you guys just uh, wrapped Fan Expo. How was that experience? Oh, it was great. This was our second fan expo, yep. actually. So we got to do it last year. So it was actually really nice to just see so many familiar faces. Yep. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to the Carmilla Act 1 TV show. I can... I can... Uh, no. <laughs> How many, like, just number kisses are we going to see? 
we lost count. We don't even know anymore. At least I have this weird habit of like not paying attention to the script and adding a few more in, so. I'm sorry, I seem to think you keep saying that this whole second, I'm sorry. I seem to think you keep saying that this whole second sword that probably only left Carmel alive because she didn't manage to you know, kill anything that is the second time. I mean, for continuity's sake, I will, I would have just made out with you all over the table. A good point. <laughs> and then magically the next episode. It's my vampire. It's perfect. Down questions. Yes. Questions with short answers. Yes. Let's yes. do this. I want to get as many in as possible right now. <laughs> Sorry, I got really excited. <laughs> Pirates or ninjas? Pirates. Pirates. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Cats. Sorry. <laughs> chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Chocolate. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate with sea salt or dark chocolate with chilies? Mm. Ooh. 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 Don't even. Those are my favorite kinds of dark chocolate. Oh too. God. Yeah. Like we have so much in common. <laughs> it's always different. It's always gross. <laughs> he looks up like a uh, John old cop or something. No, like the, the Beatle, John John Lennon. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say John Legend. <laughs> we had nothing to react to when we were filming. Yeah, it turned out really well. Is that it? That's the three episodes? More! How do we prepare for season three? One thing we always do is we make sure that we get together before mm -hmm. we shoot. We always take some time where we just kind of check in with each other and see how we are before we even start learning lines yeah. together, just to, to reconnect. Go to vending machine snacks. I very rarely use vending machines, I but I like a good peanut M&M. You oh, know? the peanut M&Ms are a when good choice. When you watch choice. a movie, good choice. Yeah. If you eat the peanut M&Ms with popcorn, it is a mm. mind fuck. It is good. It. The most fun scene to shoot this year for me was probably the big fight scene between everyone. Yeah, me it's too. It's a pretty epic battle. Yeah. And I felt pretty badass. And I just really loved it. Yeah. I want to do more of it. I felt yeah. like Laura Croft and yeah. I wanted more. <laughs> I think um. it's Laura. Lara Croft. <laughs> if I was stuck in a library and I had to read one book, one that I've read over and over is a book called Letters to a Young Poet by Rainer Marie Yeah, Bolta. that's a good one. I, I think I would read something I haven't read yet, actually, because Smart. I... Also, wait, if we're stuck in a library, there's books everywhere. So Why would you choose one? <laughs> Who wrote these questions? <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. The third drop this Thursday. Can't believe it's ending. <laughs> Deep breaths. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna it's make gonna it. Okay. We're gonna do it. <laughs> this is the pre show for Act Two, Penelope Season Three. If you and three were in a band, what would your band name be? I but, thought. Okay, okay. Well, I thought that was three together. Us three. So it would be. Um, Van Zanderman. Oh. Van Zanderman. Van Zanderman. Van Zanderman. Van Zanderman. You know, like, I remember season two, there were a few moments where, like, you and I were like, please, can we just have another? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it was kind of far, and then we'd, like, debrief and chat afterwards, and I'd be like, it's going to be your favorite music. Yeah. If you could date any kind of character, who would it be? I'd date Esther Kenna. At the, the same, same time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Carmilla and I would hang out, but we're like, there's no character. No, no, I said we'd hang out. <laughs> well, I was going to say I date Laura because Laura 
girl just like you. And now I think the answer is probably Decora. Yeah, because she's pretty adorable and yeah. Could Camilla and Laura ever just be friends? Mmm, depends on benefits. <laughs> I'm probably the worst person to ever give relationship advice. Um, <laughs> mine don't last very long. But even, like, even if you're in a committed relationship, you don't know what's going to happen with that person. So just like. <laughs> <laughs> Also, and someone knows that I have an entrance right now. Yeah, they missed. I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> The girlfriend challenge today. No, we are not dating, <laughs> but we are going to answer both in our characters and then sort of as ourselves. Box that you possessed me. Carmilla's mom. Carmilla's mom. Not my real mom. No. That'd I've be never weird. met your real mom actually. No, I don't think I've met your parents either. Yeah. Whoa. There you go. And I have never been on a date. No. We had like a our first like hangout was memorizing lines together. Yeah, on like a patio. Yeah. Our first like really nice like full day together though is we hiked down that uh, mountain in LA. In LA? What eye color, color do you wish, wish I, I had? had? That's a real question in the girl That's a tag? thing. That's a terrible that question. That's a terrible question. I would never change your eyes. I would never change your eyes. Look at those beautiful brown peepers. Poo brown Why eyes. would you mess with perfection? She's got honey, I got poo. <laughs> End of season one. one. And you and I first kissed shortly before, before that. that in <laughs> like a bathroom 
I don't know. It was the wardrobe room. Mm -hmm. The wardrobe room. Which was like also yeah. a lot of other rooms. And then we were like, can everyone just go for a second? <laughs> Carmilla says, I love you first. Yeah. In real life, Elise said it first. I think it was like, I love you, buddy. You're talented. <laughs> yeah. I think that was like the when we, on the last day of shooting, season, season two. two. Oh. She doesn't even remember. <laughs> Behind a curtain, it's fine. <laughs> the last scene of the day, it's fine. I think Laura and Camilla definitely have some like, some passionate anger sometimes, but I think it translates then into like, into like that sort of like part of their chemistry a little yeah. bit. Yeah, wow, we're a lot like our characters. <laughs> you do your thing, which I so like respect and admire. Like you, yeah. like you're very much like, like you, you like stick to your beliefs like very solidly. Like there's no like yeah. wishy-washiness about you. You're actually really good at, at being social in, in large social situations, which I'm not so much. Oh my God, thank you. I don't feel yeah, that way you at all. It well. yeah. yeah, it's funny. Like I think people think that I'm a very like outgoing social person and I would like much rather like, be at home like with a I'm the a total few people. opposite, which is really funny. Yeah. People think I'm really like reclusive. And you're um, very, you're I'm, very outgoing. Got, yeah. Like, yeah, it's so true. Yeah. Think people think the opposite of us sometimes. Sometimes, like, yeah. Mm. You know? Opposites attract. <laughs> Five episodes and Jordan and myself and just being able to hash out what we wanted to do and what Jordan was bringing uh, to the room was just such an honor and a privilege that I think it made the season a lot stronger. And also, you know, reflecting about season two and previous seasons, how can we make this the best yet? And uh, have fun. Natasha, what was the most challenging episode this season for you to shoot? <laughs> so I'd say the most challenging thing for me was the moment where the gates of hell open up and I drop the glasses, the mystical glasses, and step on them. Give me the glasses. Motherfucking dried up, rotted out dickhole masquerading as a snake eyed, narcissistic, sadistic, cunty, crone, saggy titted wench of a woman. That's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> worried about her being with a woman he's worried about her being with a vampire yeah yeah it was like uh <laughs> this is a weird anecdote i can't believe i'm gonna share this <laughs> my ex's dad was worried that she was with an actor not with a woman <laughs> yeah. he was like oh god yeah. don't date an actor this experience was especially unique in that we're all very close so mm -hmm. yeah it's something i think we'll we'll always treasure yeah mm. yeah that was that was gonna be my answer like i, I think the thing that i'm gonna miss the most is um yeah like playing off of natasha like when when we're filming like some magic happens and if laura and carmilla were to get engaged who would propose and how would it happen <laughs> oh. <laughs> i feel like it would be carmilla proposing but then there's this other part of me that feels like maybe they would have just magically planted on the same day and then That's exactly carmilla, what i was just yeah, gonna say like and then carmilla would like go to do it but laura would just like, like blurt party. it out first and like ruin her plans that is literally what i was yeah. thinking like they plan a trip to paris and they go yeah. to paris and they're like up on the eiffel tower and there's like too many romantic things happening because they both planned for things and yeah like, yeah a and then like of Carmilla would like go to like kneel down and Laura would just be like, no, oh, marry me. Marry <laughs> Natasha and I, uh, we sort of like make our own rehearsals before we film and we were talking about that and <laughs> not like that guys. Walked <laughs> <laughs> uh, right into that one. <laughs> the um, agent was like, I've heard of Carmilla before. I think it's a soft core porn. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, is that what you're doing? Yeah. No. What's, what's next for Carmilla? Like, I want more 
Carmilla, what I have something to show you. in here and it's multiple choice So that's exciting. Are you guys stoked? Yeah. More than words. <laughs> also, Natasha and I had never seen that, and like, this is really we're just emotional. <laughs> yeah, we're like just. <laughs> Give these guys a huge round of applause. They made a movie. I like keeping Carmilla pretty languid, so I try not to get too much sleep or oversleep. I actually like when um, my voice is a little tired sounding. With Carmilla, I definitely kind of like lurk around in the shadows and like stuff <laughs> and has been a lot, I have a lot of quiet time. But before our scenes together, we always make sure we like, you know what, something weird, it sounds so strange, is touching people's hair. Now you know on on yeah, set, just Natasha is just like hair. lurking like a cat <laughs> in the shadows, shadows and just fondling everyone. <laughs> so that's how you are an actor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am such a cat. <laughs> So you're down at Comic-Con, you've already gone through the sadness, but you know the movie's coming. How hard was that <laughs> to keep the secret, Natasha? Oh, <laughs> I'm very good at keeping secrets. <laughs> Did you want to scream it to the, to the uh, lightning rounds? So Guys, can we all just green say, eyes at me and I'm going to be like, okay, you don't have to answer. Carmilla in one word. Oh. Uh, hero. Reborn. Broody. Ooh, nice. <laughs> um, act three, Laura in one word. Back to you. Uh, scrappy. <laughs> Determined. Hero. <laughs> the weirdest place you've ever made out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A church picnic. Ooh. Wasn't my church. <laughs> I was just the girlfriend. <laughs> She's even blushing. Uh, the inside of a statue of a bell in a public park. <laughs> wow. Oh, what? Oh, ooh. Uh, oh here, here we, we go. go. Final. Uh. Tummy Love how set what? It's totally morphed. I haven't seen this. I didn't know that happened. <laughs> what the? Yeah, the <laughs> crime's losing her shit. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, look how cute you are. That's it. We're not ready to say goodbye. <laughs> you and your entire team. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Bye you. Guys. Thank you. I mentioned they are on a series called Carmilla, and the season three and finale of the show just came out mm -hmm. yesterday, so there will be a link in the description. Described in three words. Collectively. Uh, you have to work as a team. Kissing. Vampires. Lesbians. Wait. <laughs> They're really actively <laughs> okay. wiggling. I can also do my ears, I think. <gasps> 
a little powder once in a while. The pencil. You're you know? anti-pencil. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. It just, it looks more oh au natural. I use a pencil just for like one oh, tiny yeah. little part because when I was a child, I banged my head and had to get stitches and now like no oh. hair that grows in one little part. You love eating healthy and doing yoga. Yeah, that's, that's my thing. Cool. But I just am naturally so chill. Hey, you're a star sign. This is a personal question. I am right on the cusp between Libra and Scorpio. And if you know me, I have two very different sides to my personality, which makes sense. Oh, it's frightening. I love ranch dressing. She's like, no. no. You know what the yeah. secret to drinking water is, is you put coffee grounds in it with boiled water. And then you Whoa. just drink a lot of that every so day. So it's coffee. Yeah. So it's healthy no, because it's, it's coffee water. water. So you're doing a collab with my beautiful Carmilla series co-star, Elise, who plays Laura Hollis. Here's. It's really wet. Why is it wet? <laughs> I expected it's it to really, be. It's really, really gross. I don't hate it. The texture threw me off. <laughs> <laughs> I just spit all over your face. I got mama bird, like. <laughs> so let's have a romantic moment. Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah, yours is so much more teeny. I'm here in sunny California with my beautiful Carmilla series co-star Elise Bowman and the super dope, hilarious Amanda's Chronicles. Hello. Josh, I'm finding branches everywhere from when you fell off the hammock the other day. I don't just know what you're talking another about. One. I was feeling a little like not grounded after I got off the plane and I just <laughs> needed to like connect with the earth. Right. So. Yeah. Took that out of your book. <laughs> and I was like, gonna do me Roll doing around. yoga is awesome. yeah. Me, she's like running and doing yoga and oh, sorry. Is there was there some, there's someone else here? <laughs> Any solving math problems? Any trigs? Anometry. Sherman Hollis becomes a diehard fan of Finding Nemo. P Sherman 42 all of you Sydney Hollis. <laughs> I'm a vampire, a straight up V. I'll guzzle you down like a blood slurpee. Local gangs, you think you're tough? Well, I sleep in a crypt and I drink all the bloods. You got 99 problems? Well, I got none. So drop your stakes, cause I'll raise you some. I'm a creature of the night, I sleep during the day. Oh, did I mention I'm also pretty gay? Cause I'm Carmilla. Did you just do that? <laughs> Describe Carmilla with one body movement. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well. I thought today we would try on some weird Halloween costumes. Halloween's my favorite holiday. I just feel like Tumblr right now. <laughs> oh God. Are you naked under there? I am. <laughs> it, it took some maneuvering. Uh, Elise and I are just gonna be vampires and you're just gonna like be yourself. I saw Elise's shirt because it's a little Carm like. Sharing clothes. Is he wearing a shirt? Yes. Hi girls. Hi. How are you doing? Am I rude in a selfie here? No. Not at all. You're adding to it. Okay. Okay. I'll get in the photo if you girls will introduce yourselves. Hey, I'm Elise Bauman. Right. And this is Natasha Negavendlis. I've been, I was totally checking out your channel today. You girls are doing some crazy stuff, like a million views per video. Am I right? Mm, no. no we're, not, we're actors. Yeah. We're yeah. actors. Okay. Yeah. But, but thank you. Thank we you. wish we had a, a million views per video. And uh, yeah, we were just actors who happened to book a show that plays on YouTube. So it's been really neat to be introduced to this world because we, we work in film and television mostly. So yeah. Yeah, and it's, yeah it's a great platform. It's a, it's a cool way to kind of like step over the uh, the production side of, uh, of a lot of things that get pushed down of people saying, no, we don't like this idea. It's yeah. a lot of freedom and creativity that gets to happen on YouTube. So I, think I awesome. feel like we're just huddling for one right we're now. Really
daughters, your daughters, the new moon comes through stone walls to darken light rooms, to darken light rooms. I'm afraid. I'm that. afraid to be sitting next to you with scissors. Right I get now. really competitive during games. I know, and that's why I think it's really <laughs> scary that there's sharp <laughs> objects around you. We're making ugly Christmas sweaters. Yes. You mix water and glue. You get PVA oh. glue. Are we allowed to eat these? Yeah. Amazing. No, they can't be. Oh, it's all over my hand. <laughs> you... Oh! Get away from me! You're trying to throw me off. You better not sabotage me, or I'm gonna eat like tuna and garlic every time we have to make out in the movie. You got all the presents. Oh my god. No, there's two here. You can have some. Wait, this isn't how competition works. Ah, I found your weakness. <laughs> it's me. No! Stop! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did I burn you? It's like, oh <laughs> crap. It's okay. No, <laughs> no not blue. Get that away from me. <laughs> trying to sabotage me. You're cheating. You're cheating. Time is up. Time is oh, up. Got it wrong. <laughs> Thanks. Your time with us. You're lucky. You're cute. <laughs>